Welcome to the Inks to Reader podcast. I'm your host, Chantel Gaines. Join me this episode as I share with you news and information for Inkster, from Inkster, and about Inkster. Stay tuned for more. This episode is brought to you by Distinguished Hair, LLC. That's me. Master braider, master weaver, and master loctician. Marketer of natural products as well as herbs and remedies. Contact me, 734-444-3021 if you guys need anything. Hi everybody, I'm Chantel Gaines with the Insta Reader. I am welcoming myself back. I've been gone for a while. I had a lot of things going on and I wasn't able to keep up with the demands of getting all this information for you guys. But I didn't want to quit. So what I did was change the format of how I bring you the news. So now we're gonna have a segment called Inkster Information Train, where I go through the city, strolling around, seeing what flyers I can find, what's advertised, what's going on, and bring that information to you through this blog. Yes, it's a blog, not a podcast, my bad. (laughs) Then I also have a segment that's gonna stroll the social media online, seeing what the, um, the city of Inkster officially is putting out or any organizations locally, events or things that may have happened and share those things with you. I also follow some of the uh, local leaders in the community to see what the, what's going on with them too so I can share that with you because we elected those officials and we want to watch and see what's going on and see what everyone's doing. So let's get right into it. I'll give you a first segment. It's the Inkster Information Train. First thing I did is go check out the Inkster website. You can check them out by going to cityofinkster.com. They have information on there on basic prevention tips from the coronavirus. Stay at home if you're sick. Cover your mouth and nose with your elbow when coughing or sneezing. It's better to cover your mouth with a mask or cloth uh, cloth if you're coughing or sneezing just to prevent it from spreading. Wash your hands frequently, frequently with warm water, soapy water for at least 20 seconds. You have to have lather. The bubbles, the lather in the bubbles, pick up dirt and germs and rinse it clean away from your hands. If you don't got lather, you ain't doing much. Um, You have to avoid touching your eyes, nose, and mouth. And if you're feeling sick, you should call your doctor immediately. They also got education materials on there. There's a booklet um, that you can get, symptoms and prevention, um, preventing spread, and preventing stigma, as well as more information links there. They also have information about upcoming meetings, the board review on the 16th, and the city council on the 16th, another board review on the 17th, library board on the 19th, and planning commission on the 23rd. They have the weather, the current weather on the website, as well as unofficial election results. Let's check that out. Joe Biden got 2,536 votes from the city of Inkster. have job postings available on the website as well as absentee ballot information. They have a link to some water filters on the website. The information was outdated. However, I think you can still call your, the city clerk and that information is also on the website. Now moving on. Next, I went to the Inks Direct Center to check out what information they had there to share with the community. They have one bulletin board that's all Inks Direct information specific. And they have another bulletin board that's specific to community information where anybody can put anything up. And then there was a place out front that had a bunch of flyers. One particular one I liked was the Inkster Jam session coming up this Saturday, March 28th from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. That looks like it's going to be fun. The City of Inkster March Board of Review. The Board of Review will be meeting during the month of March. During this time, homeowners can submit to the Board of Review appeals for their property assessment for the 2020 tax year. Homeowners can also submit requests for tax exemptions if you're a veteran or have some type of hardship. They will be meeting, we already missed, I already missed the March 9th, but there's a March 16th and March 17th meeting coming up, one in the evening and one in the morning. They also had family support information there from different organizations to help aid families and youth and senior citizens and a variety of services and needs or interests that may may suit you. Sports, fitness, jobs, they had all that up there, y'all. Flag football. 
This Rise program is dope. Jobs. Health centers. Football and cheerleading for the kids. You get $75 for that. Health center. Men's basketball. It's a dance team for kids. Police have been partnering up with Ring recently. Tennis is back up there. Ooh. Commission on aging. I have different shopping trips, programs, and events you can go up there and get information about. Watershed info. S.L. Jackson of The Connected Experience is featured this month for his book he released, Animal Instincts. You can get it almost anywhere online. You guys should go check it out. I purchased mine. It looked good. Okay, wait. I scanned through the social media and this is what I found about Insta. I found some job postings. Aw, that's nice. Information about real estate. Robert Turley's sharing historic information about Inkster. Oh, we missed it. I'm super excited to see the Youth Entrepreneurs event coming up this May in Inkster. My son is an entrepreneur. We will be there. They're asking for Inkster delegates to help. Vendor opportunity April 4th. Job opportunity. That's the Inkster Jam session again. Senator Betty Jean Alexander is doing a pop-up service center. You can bring your concerns, questions, or comments to her on these days. Another job available. Missing person. Local. Rodeo coming up in June. Detroit, Kentucky Day Party in May. The St. Patrick's Day Parade is going to be canceled. Inkster statistics. Virus information. Diabetes info, March 21st. I don't know who did those shoes, but it's dope. Make donations March 21st at 12 to 4 p.m. Mayor Wimberly had the opportunity to go to the White House and even had a chance to meet the president. That was not met with happiness with some of the citizens locally judging by the comments they had online. If your leader is not doing things right, you're supposed to show up and talk, not ignore them and not have a conversation. Congratulations, Wimberly. History on Malcolm X House. I think she's from Inkster. Inkster history. Congratulations on your perfect score on your book. I can't wait to see it published. I'm definitely getting me a copy. I stroll Wimberly's Facebook page. I got to see more pictures of him at the White House. He has some great letters he had put up for the community to read. The Mayor Patrick Wimberly Inauguration Ball is going to be Saturday, April 4th at the Henry Autograph Collection, which is 300 Town Center Drive in Deerport, Michigan. Ooh, fancy. I want to get fancy. Councilwoman Legina Washington and Councilman George William is going to be there. Tickets are $100 general admission. If you want a VIP ticket, it's $150. And if you just want to come to the Afterglow party only, that's $50. They do have sponsor opportunities available. The Habitat for Humanity have a call for volunteers. Some of our leaders were there. Oh, On the way to the Flower Bowl, y'all. 
picked up my homeboy Ray. This is the first one in ink. I mean, outside of Hamtramck, they said that's available for recreational. You just have to have a license and you show that you're 21 and over. Hey, everybody at the Flower Bowl. About to see, oh, about to uh, get in this long line, which is not that long, really. They got somebody up here selling donuts. It smells so good. Oh, freaking God. I gotta walk around this whole thing. Ain't nobody here yet. At the grand opening of the recreational flower bowl, waiting in line for it to open at 9 a.m. Is it nine? It's almost nine. It's almost nine o'clock. That's all you need is an ID and be 21. And you can get in here. I'm excited for the community. Mm. I can imagine part of the community maybe not as excited as me. I'm trying to see when this donut shop open. I don't know, it smells so good. It looks like the little donuts too. The mini donuts. They said it's fresh hot mini. Maybe they got them inside instead of out here. They got this tent over there, but it looks empty inside. I can't tell what's in it. Cars pulling in, driving by, honking. I feel like I'm at a festival. I feel like I'm at a line at Cedar Point. Are you open? Okay, she almost opened. The donut lady almost opened. <laughs> I'm excited. <laughs> they said have your ID out. The security is extra aggressive. <laughs> I just feel like that tone is for non-weed smokers. But I don't know what they have to do with kind of just they tone is very aggressive. That's all. They don't say, like, you could have just said, make sure you got your IDs out and smile. Like, customer service is like, get your ID out and have it out. Like, or else. It's nine now. Oh, we got the Corona mask people. <laughs> we were laughing because nobody here got a mask in line. Ain't nobody worried about no Corona. Not here. <laughs> Everybody have their IDs out, please. Thank you. They passed out hand sanitizer. Right there. You see that hand sanitizer? I feel so. Hold on. They're going to be like, your ID. They're gonna be like, are you 20? Only people with the. Please have your ID. That's how ready I am. You got your. Is y'all gonna let me cut and get them donuts? She opened. She opened. The donut lady just opened. I got to get them donuts. Oh, never mind. They scanning people with this, uh, the wand. And they letting people in now. <laughs> okay, I'll be back. All right, I'm at the Flower Bowl, y'all. They opening up for the first time for the uh, recreational. Getting scanned in. All you need is ID. No medical card or registration. Got that. I'm sure I'm hoping they got some deals. This is an exciting event. I'm 
I need a half ounce. I'm not about to spend that much money. What would that cost me? 244 half ounce? I said, nah, it's really good stuff, she said. I said, I don't care. <laughs> oh, was that tax? But these donuts are free, and I did get a free free bag. So... giving out donuts and they giving out free free rolls and yeah <laughs> ain't no free weed though <laughs> you gotta buy that sixty dollars an eighth if you here for recreational everything is one price all that other weed there's another section that's medicinal they won't even let you look at they so aggressive i turned around and leaned over to look you know, I didn't even leave the rope. I, my feet didn't even move. I'm like, oh, I wonder what is that over there. Don't even look over there. I said, don't even look over there. I can understand telling me not to buy it. You telling me not to even look. These guys, now I think security guards are over aggressive cops that were fired for psychological issues, so they got security guards instead. That's what I'm convinced. You want the safety, I mean reliability. Always being able to get some bud. $60 an eight, you can get some bud. I don't smoke that. I don't know if that's the regular stuff I get. On the streets, and they just charge it more. Because I bought $60 eight stuff before. That was that, mm, let me treat myself special stuff. But anyways. Free, free roll, free donut. All right. I'm about to go. I'm about to go. I gotta call somebody else. You've been listening to the Insta Reader Podcast with Chantel Gaines. If you've enjoyed today's show, hit a thumbs up on the video and be sure to tell a friend. Also, make sure you never miss an episode by subscribing below and sign up for the Inkster Reader cellular notifications. Text Ink News to 844-224-7562. That's I-N-K-N-E-W-S to 844-224-7562. You'll be notified of news and announcements and quickly linked to new podcast episodes. Leave a comment about anything missed or anything you want to see covered next time. Thanks for listening. Positivity and growth.